new chapter in health care for women and children in the country thanks to a partnership between the Public Hospitals Authority, the Aidan Roger Karen Foundation, and a Tribune Media Group. Health Minister, the Honorable Dr. Perry Gomez, said the partnership came about after the son of the Tribune's president, Robert DePuch Karen, got ill from an autoimmune disease called secondary HLH, spurring the need to give back. Dr. Gomez says the partnership would begin with the unprecedented release of the infant's confidential health records and allow researchers and physicians insight into testing and treatment for the life-threatening disease. This important partnership will include as an essential element outreach, education, and empowerment for families, as well as providing our doctors and nurses with access to leading pediatric specialists, world-class institutions, and state-of-the-art equipment. Other elements of this historic partnership focus specifically on areas in education, information, and empowerment and telehealth and public recognition for those who go above and beyond the call of duty. What up? Well, Chairman of the Pediatrics and Emergency Medicine at Nicholas Miami Children's Hospital, Dr. Jerry Byler, says the facility looks forward to formalizing a lasting relationship which will allow it to provide care to children in the country. Karen added that the partnership is about bringing transformation to pediatric health care so that no child is left behind. He says no words can explain the helplessness a parent feels when his or her child is sick. That our family-centered care, that our many, our many experts and um, specialists in different forms of pediatrics will be able to help provide a level of care that will meet your expectations and will also help meet the needs of your children, your grand grandchildren, and all the children that are here in the Bahamas. Let's together fight HLH, leukemia, diabetes, cancer, and other pediatric diseases by utilizing our combined world-class partnerships. Let's create compelling educational campaigns. Let's get the state-of-the-art diagnostic equipment we need in the clinics and get the new treatment protocols.